Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Quinn's MLR class. And today I'll be teaching how to draw the bear's tape here. What I'm going to do is do the head and the nose. Which in fact this is a very prehensile nose. This is known as a prehensile nose. Prehensile means it can be used like an extra hand, and it can use it like a snorkel to hide underwater. And these tapirs were named after W.M. Baird, an American naturalist, who identified them while on the Mexican expedition in 1843. Although these guys look like a cross between anteaters and pigs, they're actually not related to any of these two creatures at all. Their actual relatives are rhinos and horses. Yeah, did you know they're also called mountain cows in Belize? That's where they're... Oh, which in fact, they're the national animal of Belize, don't you know? Mm. Oh. eggs right here. Tail. Maybe, um, yeah. all right. Now that we're done coloring, now that we're done drawing in the bear's tape here, it's time to color in. Stop the eyes right here. Oh yeah, these feet here, are, their feet are very splayed out for moving on muddy ground. Their thick skin is dark brown with a sprouting color. And babies are born with white spots and stripes to be able to camouflage them in a, in a forest cover to avoid from predators. Mm -hmm. right. Well, yeah, and they're one of the largest land mammals in Central America. Known as the mountain cow in Belize, they're forest dwellers. At the mostly of Naya's day, forage along riverbanks and 
forest clams. These guys are now extinct in parts of their former range, but since relatively small pockets of remaining habit remaining habitat in Colombia, Ecuador, Costa Rica, Rica, Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, Nagua, and Panama. They can live in a wide variety of habitats, including tropical forests, woodlands, grasslands, and even marshes. They eat a variety of leaves, twigs, fruit, and seeds. And these guys possess a, a possess microorganisms in their guts to digest plant material. And they must eat a large amount of them amount of it daily. Unfortunately Unfortunately though they're currently declining and are considered in danger primarily as a result of habitat destruction due to expanding agriculture, mega infrastructure, hunting, and disease. Increasing in the severity of droves in Mexico's Cala and Reserve, resulting in a steep decline in tapir populations. Each of those threats are led to the population being highly fragmented, making gene flow between populations very difficult and challenging. Its low reproductive rate makes it even more vulnerable to those threats. But thankfully, we're doing the best we can to save them. Now, excuse me, I can find that brown. There it is right here. Okay. Alright, and the rest are remaining and brown a bit. And that's it. Now you'll know how to draw the bear's tape here. If you like this video, please make sure to hit like, subscribe, and tell me in the comments what creature you want me to draw next. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have an animal-tastic day. See ya!